Amnesia and in today's video I'll be reacting really to episode 13 of Healing Good Pretty Care. We are finally back on the show. I really honestly thought that this show was not gonna come back until like mid-August maybe September but the greatest thing about this is it's finally on Crunchyroll and people can finally appreciate this show. I don't know if they're gonna put all the seasons on there. All I know is as of right now they're going to put episodes 1 through 12 on a later date. We just don't know when. So I'm just really happy. And it comes out officially at 11.30 at night on Saturdays. And usually by that time, I am not recording-ish. But it's still good to still have it on a Sunday for me. And ish And honestly, I cannot wait. I Do I really remember everybody's name from this show? Um, Hinata? Chiyu? And Nadoka? Yeah, I think those are our names. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Al Yuki and friends, as I like to say. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started on episode 13 in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> it feels like years since <laughs> we watched episode 12. Oh, God, we have a lot to talk about, but I'm going to wait until the end of the episode to talk about some things. <laughs> uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just gonna I think I've said it before with 1 through 12 but Chio is the Yukiko of the group if you've played Persona 4 mm, if you haven't go play it <laughs> cause that girl cracks up way too much <laughs> she's like she's okay yeah she's a female uh no yeah she is a female freaking Yusuke as well for Persona 5 That's what this episode is about. I mean, you know, since it's been a long time since we watched episode 12, I kind of forgot what this episode was going to be about. <laughs> Even with the fact that, like, last night when um, Crunchyroll's Twitter page uh, officially, like, announced the episode title, the name, um, no, the number, the name, and ish, and I was like, I, it, like, and I retweeted it, and it went, like, completely over my head, and then I instantly remembered today, because <laughs> the child wants to quit. I mean, because she's kind of, like, and I can, the only one I can compare this to is Go Princess with, um, Kilala, and how she instantly became that final cure. And then she's like, mm -mm, it ain't for me. This is what I want to do. But mm -hmm. the show is finally back in my life. Like, oh, I missed it. Even though we are about to. No, well, that show isn't coming out until next year. We're continuing our year of Aoi Yuki because this is now what? How many shows have I watched with her in it? We about to go into like number four or five because that show starts this week and then one that's going to come out next year that I'm really excited for and then anything if they do something for Persona which you know they are but okay mine got commercials mm -hmm. thank you Nyan But it would be weird if he had quit by the end of this episode. <clears throat> I 
Well, he's a catchy. He's supposed to be showing off, you know? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Kobayashi! Kobayashi! <laughs> oh! <laughs> God, it's been a long time since I heard these voices. <laughs> Excuse me. I get that, baby. You just feel like, you know, you're not as strong as you think you are. I mean, that's a quick way to try to change the conversation, but I mean, you know. Your sister or your family members have been better. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're kind of like Misty from Pokemon. Oh, my God, my best girl. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> The one thing that you succeed out of your brother and sister is that you're a pretty girl and you are, you know, you're a damn good one. Just as much as all the previous ones before you. Mm-hmm. Catchy, shut up. <laughs> God. Get ready to hear that all the way until the end of the series. A catchy, shut up. <laughs> oh, God. Or until, you know, eventually his character dies. I mean, dang, nine minutes in. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's cute, though. <laughs> Propeller. Are you talking about the, um, the thingamajiggy? I can't remember, uh, uh, oh my god, the, the, the thing that she used with the camera, that thing, I can't remember the name right now. Are we sure about that? Hmm. 
I mean, this might be a little hard because, well, a little more harder than typical ones because of the fact is it's invisible and you can only see it through electricity. child wearing a damn <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. But he and I... You know, you gotta feel bad for her because she's just still so upset about what happened in episode 12 a couple of months ago. Investing in electricity is a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you can't stay there by yourself. No, I don't come. Yeah, that. The drone. There we go. <laughs> it took me how many minutes to figure that word out? <laughs> I was like, I know it's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> it's Sunday. I'm tired. I'm tired and I'm hungry. I haven't eaten yet.
God, I miss these transformations. Like, oof. To go several months without this show, I mean, it felt really weird. Especially, like, the week we all found out. And then leaving week after week. And I was like, damn, it feels so weird not to have it on a Sunday. And then coming to last week and realizing that the show was coming back, I was like, oh, this is going to be really good. I was like, my Sundays are going to feel good again, even though on my Sundays typically now I record Patreon shows. And I think I'm going to record a Patreon show tomorrow. But still, it feels nice. Okay, right here. I'm at that. I'm my back. Good boy. Ah, hey, yo. I'm on my side, and then I'll take you out again. Here, on the bed. Hey, go. You like you were catchy. <laughs> Can we just say that this is an alternate universe where he just acts like Ryuji from Persona Violin? Yeah. I love it though. It's, it's it's so interesting. Oh my god, it's so cute! Oh I want it. Like seriously, dead ass. Like as merchandise for this show. Sell the cute little elements, please, because oh my god, do you know how much you would get? Remember, Ruby from Love Live Sunshine was on this show as an element, and it was like the best fucking thing ever. <laughs>
so. You feel a little bit better now? Like me now? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Well, thunder, but still. <clears throat> yeah. So that makes two. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll bring more left. So. They each now have one or two, so they just need one more each for all three. Me thirsty, even though I have water, but I would love to have some juice or some coffee. I had one yesterday and it was good as hell. Okay, so for a returning episode, it was finally, I mean, because damn, the last time we watched this show, it was part one of Two for Hina, and I'm glad that we finally got to see the ending of this for her to, you know, grow because, it, like I said, it was months <laughs> since we last saw episode 12, and I was like thinking, damn, we may not able be able to, I can't speak, we might not be able to see this episode until, I was, like I said, I was thinking August, I kind of was thinking September, hell, I was thinking my birthday month, and I was like, damn, this might be the first Pretty Cure show where... When we get to the next one, we don't even know when the hell that's going to air. But since we now officially have this show back, the biggest question is, um, are they going to be able to air everything in time before the following new show starts? That's the biggest thing. We're only 13 episodes in, and I think if they keep going, we could be done in time. This is a good episode. I'm glad Hina, you know, found her strength and everything. This was something that she needed because... Episode 12 was oof for her, and she felt depressed in a way, and that's okay. I mean, the biggest thing, what I love about Pretty Cure in general, like, let's go back to episode one. You, like, every Pretty Cure, you, they don't really know what they're doing the first time, and even 13, 14, 20 episodes in, you still don't know. See, now you're just making me hungry. <laughs> As I was saying, um, I'm just making my body hungry. <laughs> but, um, no matter what, if it's episode one, episode three, episode five, episode 15, 20, whatever, um, at the end of the day, by, like, episode... Once, like, the final cure comes in, that's when everything's really serious. But, like, so, let's say the final cure usually comes by episode... I'm gonna even use last season as an example. Like, best girl. My best girl came in, like... She came very early on. And so, I mean, I kind of going into this show, I feel like the last cure is gonna come early. But I feel like she's gonna come, like, episode 20... 23, 24, 25, possibly. Uh, so, when we get to the second half of the show. But for the first, like, 20 episodes, maybe even 24 episodes, these girls are still, like, relatively new. 
to it. Even by the time when they get to the first movie, the first All-Stars movie, I like to say, um, and when they meet the senpais, and they're like, okay, we're still relatively new about this. You guys know what you're doing. Teach us your ways. And so you kind of really get to see moments where they kind of, the previous characters get to teach the new characters, like, somewhat. But then especially when it's um, our trio, our duo, before the newest one comes in, eventually there's going to be, like, an episode or two, or maybe three, where it's like, hey, this is what we do, this is how we do it, and gotta gotta bullshit, bullshit, and stuff. Um, but yeah, I loved it for what it was. It's just the thing is, like, no matter what, I feel like Hina was just the type of character is like, oh, I should know what I should do. I'm a pretty care. I should be doing, being able to do this, this, that, and the third. But as a pretty care, not everyone knows exactly what to do. What's the right thing to do? What's the wrong thing to do? And so every single episode, these girls are learning about, you know, the difference between right and wrong, what is good and evil, and, you know, almost like a need and a want necessarily. Okay. So let's talk about the fact that this is also now officially on Crunchyroll. This makes it a little more mainstream. I mean, I'm really, really, really so freaking happy that this this show, this series is finally on this network um, and such. And so it makes you wonder, like, does now Toll Animation and Crunchyroll have a somewhat of a deal together? And are they going to do this for any other pretty cure show? Are they possibly going to go backwards and do everything from Futariwa up to, you know, Healing Good? I mean, it would be really interesting to do that because this is still the current airing pretty cure show. And I mean, for other people to get into the show, I mean, the, 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 the messed up thing is, yeah, you got to pay them, but it's okay. I'm fine with paying people. Um, for the show, I think the one thing is, especially if you are a free person who is watching, um, if you have a free membership, yeah, you got to deal with commercials, which do suck. Um, as someone who has a free membership account with Crunchyroll, whether you're doing Funimation and everything. Now, this also goes into a point where, and I hate to say it because it's already happened and we're never really going to talk about this again, no matter what, um, because it's now getting more and more mainstream the right way, I like to say. Is it a possibility that someone like Funimation or um, Viz Media, could it possibly get a dub? And could the dub be actually right? Not like the Sabiathan Glitter Force throw up that we got for two seasons. And because we know that, like, well, I know, I don't know how much you guys know about it, that the partnership between those two, that Netflix, like, that got canceled, like, literally after the other show aired on um, Netflix, and I'm glad for that, because to me, I only want, when it came out, I <laughs> I watched, like, two or three episodes of the first half of the show, and then one day, like, when the second half came on, I was like, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and watch it, and I just, I couldn't, yes, it has, like, a lot of English voice actors who I know personally, um, well, not personally like that, but I know, like, who they are and what they've done, like, other voices in for other shows, but it still felt weird and off to me, because it's like, yeah, we're going to call it Glitter Force. And of course, um, the partnership that Total Animation and Sabiathan had is that they couldn't show anything that was something of a logo for Pretty Cure. Whether it was um, for freaking happiness. Was that? No, Smile. Um, for Smile, they couldn't really show like the brooch that they had that much. Anytime when they got to like the ending credits, they couldn't show the name of Pretty Cure or anything. And so... If it gets a dub, I would rather get a dub from Viz Media rather than Funimation. I mean, yes, they can take some really good iconic VAs from Funimation and stuff to put in this show. But still, like at the end of the day, I feel like Viz, Viz would do a lot better job than Funimation in my opinion. But I mean, yeah, they still have some really good VAs in Funimation. But I feel like, um, I think if I had one person to not be in this dub, uh, if, let's say if the show got a dub, um, or any of the, any other pretty girls, ah, oh, God, because I really don't like her voice, and, because she voices a boy, and, because the show is so near and dear to my heart, <laughs> it's the current voice, uh, for Ash Ketchum for Pokemon, I, I like I, now I kind of tolerate it, even though I don't really watch English Pokemon and I haven't watched English Pokemon in years. I'm more into Japanese now, but um, 
I think if it made her voice a little more girly or if she was a mascot character and if it was a little more girly or if she was just like a character for one episode, I think it'd be fine. But like, I don't know. I mean, it's just something that they, at the end of the day, tell animation really has to think about. And if they really want this to happen to kind of get like, okay, let's try this again and let's do this right i think if they do it like that they're already in a way as of right now putting crunchy roll i mean putting this on crunchy roll that is their step into the right direction now they just need to sit here and figure out like mm, do we want viz media or do we want freaking Funimation to really kind of dub this at the end of the day if people really if the fans especially western fans want to dub then yeah they'll do it if they don't then it'll just be the uh, partnership with toll and crunchy roll and whatever they do at the end of the day it's fine with me. I have no problems with it. I think it's a very good opportunity because, like I said, it makes this show a lot, and I mean a lot more mainstream. And now it's going to be up there with the big boys, with all, like, most of the shonen shows I watch. Most of, like, and see, this is just, you know, because if they do this for Aikatsu, your girl is just going to be gone. Like, oh my god. Like, I, I mean, it would be awesome for them to do Aikatsu with Crunchyroll, but I think because it is just as popular as Pretty Gear, um, I feel like maybe, like, the fan base could be, like, half and half. I mean, but you really never truly know. I mean, if Pretty Hero can get this, Aikatsu, and any other anime that has a big-ass fandom and who really wants to see it be mainstream, just like any other show, that Crunchyroll or any company, um, gets it, it really should have an opportunity. I mean, I'm just saying at the end of the day. That's just me. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 13 of Healing Good Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode 14. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!